Good morning, everybody. Tuesday morning here in Nicosia, Cyprus. This is gonna be my first video update. And in this video, I am not going to, going to really get into the news stories. I will do another video where I talk about the news of the day. In this video, I just wanna talk for about five minutes about what's happening with Gonzalo. Um, it has been about three, it has been three days since he has gone missing. And I want to talk about what we can do to figure out what's going on and how we can help. And one of the reasons that I am doing this video is because we have had a lot of, of photos come up on Twitter. I don't want to say a lot, specifically one photo on Twitter, which is causing a lot of concern. I'm not going to put that, uh, that tweet with that photo up, but um, these Azov goons are making certain claims. I'm not going to weigh in one way or another. I will say that these Azov and AZIs are, uh, are evil, they're liars, and they practice in deception. But saying that, I am concerned about this tweet, even though I don't put much trust in, uh, in these tweets. And we have a lot of fog of war and a lot of, of, of lies and and propaganda out there, but um, uh, I'll just leave it there. I'll leave it there. And uh, I wonder what, what I really want to talk about is what we can do now that it has been three days, what we can do to, to help and to figure this out. And I think that the best course of action is to contact the Chilean embassy or the consulate uh, wherever you are watching this video from, whatever country, there will be either a Chilean embassy or there will be a consulate or there will be a Chilean embassy within your region that will represent your country. Chile, being a, a smaller country, many times doesn't have an official embassy in every single country. So what they will do is they will have an embassy in a certain country which will represent a block of countries. And uh, many times, instead of having an, an official embassy, a fully staffed em embassy in your country, they may also have a representative office or a consulate. So for example, with regards to Ukraine, the embassy of Chile in Poland is, uh, is the embassy that handles all affairs related to Ukraine. So underneath this video, I'm going to put links to uh, the Chilean embassies in, uh, I, I, I will put in the U.S. and I will put the one for Poland, which is the one that represents Ukraine. In the comments down below, whatever country you're from, if, if you have the, uh, the links for the Chilean embassy, the Chilean consulate, or the representative office, or you know which country represents your country with regards to Chile, then definitely drop that down in the comments down below. and. Uh, I don't have a big platform, but hopefully everyone can, uh, can just drop a quick note, an email, a phone call perhaps to the uh, Chilean representatives and just ask them to, to look into what's happening with Gonzalo. I think it, it, it's as simple as that. It doesn't have to be a long letter. It doesn't have to be a long telephone call. It could just be something along the lines of, look, uh, there's a Chilean journalist. He's in, uh, he was reporting from Ukraine. He's been missing for three days and uh, we are concerned. Can you please uh, look into what's happened with this citizen of yours? Something very, very simple like that is, is perfect. It's absolutely perfect. So uh, just, this is going to be my video. Uh, this is the action that we can take. I'm not saying that we panic by, by any means, but I think we are all concerned and uh, we just want to get to the truth as to, as to what's happening. And so the best course of action, I believe, is to contact your local Chilean representative and have them work the, uh, the diplomatic channels to figure this out. Hopefully this video will be, uh, 
in, in the next coming days will be filed under just will be forgotten it won't be a a useful video because hopefully gonzalo will uh, will be okay and this video can be forgotten but um everyone that is concerned just uh just take that simple action i think that's a very simple action to take and uh that that'll probably help get to that will, that will definitely help the the situation let me leave it there that will help the situation i don't really have much more else to say uh gonzalo is my friend and uh it has been three days and uh we are uh we are all concerned in uh in this community and so Anyone that can help in the comments down below, if you know how to contact the, the embassy in Chile, definitely drop that in the comments down below or the representative office in Chile for your country. Drop that in the comments down below and uh, I will just leave it there, everybody. That is the video. Take care.